Uh, guys, we're having to re-record this video because for some reason the textures and whatnot did not run right. But we're going to do a quick uh, loot guide, quick run through on uh, Shoreline. Just going to point out where uh, some of the PMCs be. Um, the general rooms that I hit when I'm on this map and the way I rotate uh, when coming in from... Uh, My rotation from uh, the west spawn path to the lighthouse. All right, so we're going to drop down hit deep here. There is an army of scabs that spawn up by the checkpoint up there. They have a nasty habit of uh, dropping nades on you. Whilst you're, like, trying to fight in woods. And, man, it's just... Yeah, it's just rancid, bro. And there can be, like, five or six of them. I mean, normally, normally it's, like three but there's only like five yeah you know, they can be up to like five or six and it's just it's just not worth taking that fight off the rip gonna have another guy here in this uh field with the with the drone so we're gonna come around the right hand side we're gonna be out of the aggro range of sanitar and uh pmcs over at cottages so we pretty much got a clear shot now straight into the resort Now, when on PvP, uh, I have a habit of, as early as I can, I fiend for Tremadols and SJ6s um, before I open the flea. I'll just, I'll do my best to find as many as I can. Simply for shoreline. Um, you, you just don't want to be outside, man. You want to be in the resort. <laughs> Nothing good happens outside the resort. Nothing great happens inside the resort. Right, so on approaching, I'll go over the cultists. Um, I'll do a video for the cultists on each map, but because um, everything's changed this way. But for daytime raids, we're going to pop a nade left-hand side of the resort. Should have got a voice line off any PMCs if they're there. This door's open, which is a good sign somewhat. Going to watch down the lane. Gonna swing this first room here. Often you can get a PMC in here if there is one that far down. Checking deep, nothing there. Happy days. Quick scan around. Straight into uh, West 104. This is um, we hit this basically for the blue key card spawn um, on the desk. Occasionally the odd lead X on the side in the you know in those cabinets. Uh, I'm not gonna bother wasting our time with like looting rooms for like duffels and med bags and stuff like that. I'm going to show you how I, I basically quickly run through um, the resort into 221. Now, the adjacent room on the right can also spawn an RSAS at the moment. It's like one in every, I want to say, three or four raids. Uh, we tend to get an RSAS in there. So, good room for, um, for ammo and meds and all that sort of jazz some weapon parts food red key card spawn there by the way uh, food and there's the RSAS all right so we're gonna swing around now we're gonna ignore the PMC's the best we can M4 there as well if you need to hand that in for punish your task I'm gonna hit this stuff all we're here it'd be rude not to right all right cool uh, sometimes the RSAS is on the floor in here as well so check both sides uh, this loot run, we probably won't incorporate admin, just because at the moment with Sunny spawns being so high, if it's a loot run, I don't want to, I mean, I will, but for the purposes of the video, we're not going to take Sunny on, um, because a lot of you will probably enjoy watching a video on... <laughs> How to actually fight Sunny and win the majority of the time when fighting him. Uh, 216, by the way. This is 216. This is a task room key. The item you'll be looking for is in there. I can't remember if it's chemicals or lend lease. Uh, and then 220, another task room key. You'll come out into the balcony to here, and that's for the generators. Okay, pushing on. We're going to head straight up to 205 now. 
little glance out the window towards the tennis courts. Nothing there. We're going to be checking when we go, when we transition to the room on the left, we're going to be looking down to the right, down to where the uh, the truck is. And we're going to be looking for um, any PMCs, basically. I would advise if you do actually want to run Shoreline, like loot run it. Now we're good. If you do actually want to loot run Shoreline, it's... It does, you know, if you want to actually loot all of the med, the medical spawns here, you could very easily fill up an injector case. So, you, I mean, they're only like, what, 260,000-ish at the moment. You'll, you'll, you'll make your money back in one raid on that, even with, you know, just bad injectors. All right, free room. Don't forget to check the newspaper. There's our lead X. God damn, they're just, they're always so sexy, aren't they, lead Xs? All right, and in the duffel. Pushing on now, we're going to go hit 306 again. It's rare that I hit this room, um, but we'll go in it and we'll show you anyway. We've got two dead bodies and uh, two medical containers in here. And there's normally like loose med spawns as well and some food spawns in here as well. Um, yes, is... If you're like learning the map and you haven't got hundreds of millions of rubles, then yes, you know, hit this room, hit the scavs, have a good look around and all that jazz. All right, next we're going to swing into 301. This room used to be so heavily contested on PvP. Um, but like this wipe kind of, I feel like it, they killed Shoreline with the, the vault in the mantling through the windows. Uh, quick tip, when we're going to transition through to the next room, you come out to this balcony, if Sunny is in admin, or the PMCs are at the back, they will light you up. Now, that's not a problem, but when you go to get into cover, they will shoot you through the gaps as well. Um, even on really tight angles, obscure angles, they'll shoot you underneath the uh, concrete banister railing. But be mindful of that. So that's that's normally the, like the, the kind of shape of the rotation I take into the room. We just WQ straight through. Check the newspaper. We'll hit this box. I haven't bought in a rig, so there's no uh, Ming Max Ting, but um, that box, if you do decide that you want to do that, then yeah, you can often get something out of it. Uh, next top tip for 301, if there's like a car battery or an e-motor or something like that on this desk, pick it up. You can still have LedX's spawn underneath it. All right. You also get the SV98 spawn in here a lot as well. So, which early wipe can be a valid pickup because they can be like, like early, early wipe when people, you know, keep dying trying to place them. They, they yeah, the price of them just like rockets. All right, we're going to have a little look out here. What we're looking for is guards out the back. We've not got any guards out the back. I'm going to punch an aid out. We'll be right back. You didn't see that. All right, well, we've got our finger on the on the prone button, so, you know, if we get engaged, we'll just prone like that. We'll just prone right away. All right, anyway, ignoring that. Into 209 East. Uh, Ledex spawns in here as well. And stims. Be careful, we get Sunny and PMCs here. And down lane there. All the way underneath us. Uh, more med spawns in, in this room as well. Um... Many, many, many. And then obviously these crates. All right. Holding the floor. Running past. Posting. All right, so they're out the front. Uh, potentially Bitcoin spawns in here as well. Did I bring any 40 mic mic with me? I didn't.
I don't know what that did. I just did it. Anyway, straight to 226. Now, shoreline, much like customs, and potentially interchange, um, you are going to have to shoot your gun. There's no way around that. Uh, we're low on nades, so we're going to hit some nade boxes. Perfect. One absolute peach, but of course I've got to hand them in. All right. One second. Oh, pardon me. Right. That's just... All right. Coming out of 226. Quick check on the stairs. Rare that they'll come up. Like, I've seen one scav up on third by um, PC room. Once. However, these boys... Shut up! Shut the fuck up! You are going down as all this shit! Lay down your weapons and give up! Alright, we got a... Mm, just need to, like... Alright, here's a strap for taking these guys on outside. Alright, we're going to roll the nade. Anyway, take the fight from there. We still might have some underneath us. But whatever. Right. Moving on. We digress. We digress. Into 328 again. Not a room I hit all the time. But can be valid. We're looking for them GPUs. They are 2 million apiece at the moment. Now, this is a free room. And this room, if the med bags are there, you can hit. You get a lot of PMCs spawn here, boys, as well. Right here, left hand side, and then all the way down, and on this, and right, around the back of the building. Like, this is just a heavily contested area um, with the uh, PMCs. And you can get the cultists there as well but like i said we will cover that off at a later point in a different video um you can get more med bags in here as well more duffels anyway moving on this is the mark room um if you want to if you've got to do your was it the cult part two part one part two one of them um i guess he's worth hitting i mean most of the bodies are really not spectacular. The loot here is not spectacular. 314. Um, early wipe. Get some weapon parts in here um, that might help either with gunsmith or just general quality of life with the weapon systems that you are running. And then we have a med bag spawn there, one behind there, med spawn up here, and then this box I think is a, I think it's a, a permanent spawn. I think it's always it, always here. Um, I 
You fucking cunt. Shut up! God damn it! Die, scab! Mm, okay. So they're down at the elbow. That might not be a problem for us. Anyway. Med bag, med bag spawn there. Uh, another weapon crate there, that's always gonna be there. Coming around into 310. These can all be biddies as well, but you know, a lot of gold chains. And you can get a lot of duffels in here as well. Like a lot, a lot. If duffels are your thing, then, man, you're gonna love that room. All right, 306. Now you can buy the room next to it. Uh, you can buy 308, which sometimes can be a little bit cheaper if you're that way inclined. But yeah, four PCs in here, a DVL spawn, um, weapon box, and then got, we got some gold spawns behind us in the drawers and on the bed. Um, trying to think what else we have in here. There's a weapon box spawn in the bathroom as well. I think that's pretty much it in here. So, nothing spectacular. Nothing, you know, crazy or game-breaking. But, you know, it is what it is. There's a DVL. That DVL is here a lot. If if you're like, if you have access to this, this room, before you start Shooter Born, um, and, like, you want to... Okay, so hearing that, him down there to my right, me jumping this, I might I might get away with it. Coming back, I'm probably not. So I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, these little rooms here, chaps. Alkali, toothpaste, tools, all that sort of jazz. First and sorry, third and second, and then the same on these here. And again if you're on resort and you want to get some either hideout items or items for the ragman tasks or punisher tasks um there is a supply cl closet key that opens one second uh these rooms not this one but this one here um on second here, and it does the same over on the ones in uh, West Wing as well. All right, so we got to get out, right? I mean, there's no point looting if we if we if we don't survive. So dun 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 dun. Why aren't we going to hit first? I just can't be asked. Like, it's this is nothing down there really for me, and I want to. You know, part of me still has to work on volume. I still have to achieve, yeah, you know, I still have to get in and out of raids relatively quickly. Oh. Oh, no, I'll leave you to it, bro. You, hey, you do you, bud. But that's pretty much it, man. I mean, like, Shoreline's not fantastic for loot, but it is what it is.